It's a great day for our men's basketball program and athletic department. Today, I'm absolutely thrilled to formally welcome to Brigham Young University our new head men's basketball coach, Kevin Young. To start things off, we are pleased to have the president of BYU, C. Shane Reese, here to address us. President. Thank you, President Reese. It's now my pleasure to introduce Kevin Young. We had a variety of excellent candidates and a lot of interest in this position. We're blessed to be in a position right now of strength in our program. Kevin is not someone that just came to us out of the blue. We had our eye on him for quite a while. It has been remarkable to see all that he has accomplished at the NBA level. His character is impeccable. It is in incredible how well regarded he is by individuals all throughout college basketball and throughout the NBA. Kevin is a remarkable fit here at BYU. He understands what we're all about here at BYU. He's committed to doing the right thing. Having been on calls yesterday with him and our players, I'm so excited to witness the impact that he will have on these young men and how he can relate and build meaningful relationships with them. Let's take things to the next level. Cougar fans, it's time. Lights, lights, lights. Is rocking inside the Marriott Center tonight. It's right up there with the Texas Tech and the Kansas. The Marriott Center in Provo. We got a good one. Full house here in Provo. 18,000. BYU's threes has been the story of the game. I mean, BYU's been relentless on the offensive glass. It's crazy. It was rocking in here. BYU has a very good basketball team. You know, they have a little bit of everything. They have shooters, they have scorers, they have bigs. Uh, a great history of basketball uh, at BYU. They're such a great addition to the Big 12. Textbook offensive basketball for 22. One of the most prolific offensive teams in the country. It comes down to having shot makers, and they've got plenty of them. This is an elite level scoring offense. Putting this on my list of must-see places if you want some of the best atmosphere in college basketball. BYU is the real deal. When this team has it rolling, they are electric. Cougar Nation, here he is, Kevin Young. Appreciate it, everyone. Oh, there we go. That's off to a good start. <laughs> there we go. All right. Um, wow. This is exciting for me and my family. Just, uh, I don't know, when you're doing everything on the phone and you're, and you're, and you're not here to feel the energy and, and just feel this building, um, when you step foot in here, even my, my kids, um, that this place is going to be rocking. We're going to get this thing rolling. So, um, Excited to be here. I, I really want to first start by thanking a couple people. Um, Brian and Tom, President Reese, Keith, um, that force. And when we met, um, it, was, it got clear pretty quickly um, that this was going to be something that me and my wife were going to have to make a, an amazing decision to join. And it became obvious pretty quickly as we were talking about how amazing this place is. Um, and I'll speak to that a little bit more, but I really want to thank you four guys in particular as we went through the process. Um, as President mentioned, uh, i got a lot of my family here. I, I want to first thank my wife. She's been my rock for uh, 13 years, and the coaching world is one uh, that's not easy on families. It's not easy raising little ones, and we got three of them. Jude, Van, and Zoe have been right there with us for, for a good majority of it. So. 
excited that they're here with us too. And then my mom and dad and all my siblings are here as well. So um, I'm one of six and, and, and even Aaron, what's up, dude? Haven't seen you. Uh, <laughs> Even BYU alum, I might add. So he, he's here, Meg, hey, um, and my, a couple of my, my nieces too. So it's a really special day for our family, and uh, we certainly don't take it lightly. So I also want to thank a few other people that, that have been really instrumental in, in, in me getting here. Um, you know, James Jones and Matt Ishpew with the Phoenix Suns and Coach Vogel, who I'm working for now, Monty Williams, who's been a huge mentor of mine and is uh, an outstanding guy. And, Funny enough, opened up every meeting with an opening prayer. True story for the last couple of years in Phoenix, so pretty used to that. Um, Brett Brown, who hired me in Philadelphia, is one of my greatest mentors. Um, and a couple of people that got me to Utah in the first place, Brian Anderson and Joe Brown, um, Coach Hunsaker at Utah Valley, who I worked for, and then uh, so many other people that I can get to. But I, de I definitely want to shout that group out. Um, where I really want to start this thing with is the players. Okay, you guys were the first ones I, I saw when I got into this building. The, the things that you guys were able to, I just told all of them so in the locker room, the things you guys were able to accomplish first year in the Big 12, absolutely remarkable. Um, cannot wait to have every one of you guys back in a BYU uniform and get to it. That was one, yes, let's get that up. And so that, Make no mistake about it, that's my first priority is, is those guys, and, and I can't, I've already started building relationships with those guys, and um, we're gonna take that part of it to a, to a whole nother level. That's, if, any, if I've learned anything in the NBA, it's, it's about, this whole thing is about relationships. I've been able to build some with some of the best players in the world. I'm currently still working with those guys and hoping to take them to, to somewhere they haven't been yet um, in this playoff run, but, that's what it's all about, is those relationships. So those guys heard me talk about it a few minutes ago and look forward to that. Um, <clears throat> with that being said, this is a new challenge for me. You know, I've been, I've been on a different side of basketball all of my career, and I, as I went through the process, um, getting to this decision, the, the excitement I had for the new challenge at hand in terms of transitioning to the college world, coming from the world I was in, got me extremely excited the more I started to wrap my head around what that looks like. And the thing that really moved the needle for me and my wife was the environment that we're gonna be doing it in here at BYU. What this university stands for, what the mission of this university is. Um, I'm a lifelong member of the church. Um, so to be able to do what I love at the highest level from a career standpoint and blend that with my faith and being able to do it with my wife and my three little ones, that's why we came here, okay? And that's why we came here. <clears throat> and uh, that's really special. So on top of that, man, the thing that's blown me away um, is just the level of support from the athletic department, from the university, from many people, the resources that, that this place has, the fact that it's in the Big 12, the highest level of college basketball. Um, there, there was a lot of things that played a role into me coming here, and that was one of the big ones. Uh, just a couple other things I wanted to hit on before we, before we <clears throat> move on to some of the questions was I just want to make it clear that I, I coming from my background and talking to, to the players, you know, a lot of guys have, not a lot, all of them have ambition to play in the NBA, and I think with my background, we're going to build, we're going to, this, this, is, this is an amazing place, has been for a long time. What I want to do to take it to the next level is make this place the best place in college basketball to prepare young men to play in the NBA. And I think with my background, I think we're going to be able to get that done, and I really look forward to doing that. Uh, and the, what I've also learned really quickly is because of the history of this school and this program and what you guys have been able to accomplish long before I showed up, in addition with the resources, in addition to uh, what the reputation of this school is, players want to play here. I've, I've learned that quickly. Players want to play here and coaches want to coach here. And I'm in the process now of putting together a staff, talking to a lot of different people. This is a very desirable place to be. I look forward to teaming up with a lot of elite people that we're going to get in here to do this thing together. And uh, with that, let's go Cougs.
Pike check. Um, at this time, we'll open things up for questions for the media for Coach Young. Um, please raise your hand if you have a question. We'll bring the microphone to you. Please stand, state your name, and your news outlet. Uh, Patrick and Ann, KSL. Uh, was it a hard decision to come here knowing that uh, maybe, at least for a temporary season or so, that, uh, and when I say season, I don't mean literal, I mean a time of life, that the NBA dream of being a head coach might be put on hold? No, not really. Once, we, once I realized how special this place was, um, you know, it, it became easier and easier, to be honest with you. Um, and when I'm, you know, I've known a lot of, a lot of these guys, Tom and, and Brian, like you said, we go back um, some years. But when, um, when President Reese and Keith came down and we, and we were talking, um, that moved the needle quite heavily for me, to be honest with you. As, as it relates to the NBA, and, and the dream and so forth. Truth be told, it's never actually really been my dream to be a head coach in the NBA. I love basketball. I love working with young players. I love developing players. I love building relationships. And to, again, to be able to do all those things at a place that has the, the, the family atmosphere that I so desired for my kids and my wife to be around, it really, it actually became a really easy choice. John Kuhn, Associated Press. Um, you know, BYU's had a tradition the last couple of years of, of having kind of a wide open offense, mm -hmm. emphasis on three point shooting. What, what's your philosophy in terms of offense and defense that you plan to bring to BYU? Yeah, I mean, you know, I've been a kind of my, my label, I, so to speak, in the NBA world has been, you know, I've run the offense of every team that I've, I've been a part of. And a lot of that's been based around, you know, where the NBA shifted to, which is kind of how BYU started, has played over the last couple of years. P fast pace, getting up and down, spreading the floor out, you know, five out, read and react. So there's going to be a lot of that. You know, I was encourage, encouraging our guys to you know, watch this this uh, series of the Suns and the and the uh, T Wolves to kind of take notes on how we're doing some things there. Um, so there'll be some similarities with teams I've coached in the NBA for sure. But you know, I think I'm a, I'm a modern thinker of the game. I want to push the envelope and um, analytically push the envelope. You know, with shooting threes as you mentioned, and defensively, that's why I get really excited because I've been able on the offensive side so long in the NBA. You know, you have. You, you see how elite defenses guard certain things, and I've been able to put together a pretty um, extensive defensive background that with the rules in college obviously being different, um, I look forward to being able to scheme and, and get creative here on that side of the ball as well. Lloyd, Daily Herald. The college game may be closer to the professional game than it's ever been at this point, but it's still different. What's it like? What do you think it's going to be like to adapt to the challenges of NIL, transfer portal, all of those elements that, that are a little different in the college world than they are in the NBA world? Yeah, I mean, obviously, that's that what you just spoke on the last bit there is the, the biggest difference. The big thing for me there is, number one, great support here in terms of administration, um, how things are run here. That put me at, I was scared of that, to be honest with you, still am. But, um, being able to rely on the people that are here, and then that's the huge priority to me with the staff is having people that I, I can surround myself with that have an amazing grasp on that, but not just a grasp on it, that are elite at, at navigating those waters that can really help me uh, do what I'm, I think I'm best at. Hi, I'm Greg Rubel. I'm your radio play-by-play -play guy. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Once upon a time, you were part of a couple of college coaching staffs. What excites you most about being back in the college game generally and about being at BYU specifically? So some of you guys know, might know some of my history, maybe not. Um, I, this was not going to be the first time I've, I've lived in the area. Uh, I coached for the Utah Flash, which was the old minor league of the Jazz. I lived, in fact, I lived in BYU housing and met my wife while she was a student at BYU. Um, so I'm familiar with everything that's going on around here. And I, when I was doing it, that was during the Jimmers era here. I remember coming to an, a game here, I believe it was against Wake Forest. And that was my first time ever coming to a game here. And uh, that was the most incredible atmosphere I'd been in at the college level. And so, 
that's what excites me. The passion, the, it's crazy in here. I mean, the hype video had me hype. I was ready to get these guys running suicides and get to it right now. But uh, um, yeah, it's, it's just different. So for my kids, they're, you know, my family, my boys and, and my daughter Zoe, you know, they're, they haven't experienced that, that passion, really. The NBA, you get it some, but not, not like it, it, it is here. So that's probably the thing that excites me the most is just the overall passion that this place has. Matt Biamonte, KSL News Radio. How do you plan on juggling finishing up with the Phoenix yeah. Suns and get, getting started here at BYU? Fantastic question. It's uh, it's it's going to be a challenge, but I look forward to it um, because a lot of special things that and relationships I have with those guys down at Phoenix. A um, couple of them I've been with for four years and two wins away from winning an uh, NBA championship with with Book in particular. Uh, he's kind of the main guy left from that crew, so I'm, I'm invested in, in, in those guys. Um, but in terms of how I plan on drug, the staffing piece is huge. You know, I've been um, working tirelessly on that. My phone's been, I've been on the phone more in the last 24 hours than I have. In fact, Kalani almost body slammed me because he's like, bro, I texted you. What's up? And uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> but uh, he, know, he, knows, he knows how it is. But uh, that's my first, outside of these players, man, that's my first matter of business is getting, getting a staff put together that can hold the fort down. But at the same time, I think it's a really unique experience to tell the next chapter of BYU's story um, in terms of leveraging my, this playoff run that hopefully we're on both for our players, for our fans, for recruits, for all that stuff. And it, I think it's a, a really a separator, I believe. Jake has the KSL Sports Zone. Building off Matt's question, how are you going to adapt to recruiting? Because you haven't had to do that in 15 yeah. years in the NBA. Yep. You know, it's it's what I'm learning is it's actually starting to trend to more similar to the way that the NBA works as I'm learning the ins and outs of it. But again, leveraging relationships. I Man, I've been coaching for almost 20 years. I know people at every level. Um, it's been amazing to just kind of have a reminder of how big you know my network actually is. Um, and again, relationships in this business are the most up, of the utmost importance, both with the players and with the, the people that on the grassroots front, agents, coaches, the whole nine yards. So my own personal network, but the staff piece is enormous there. I'm going to surround myself with people that that's what they're elite at. And uh, that's what's going to help us the most. Darnell Dixon, Daily Herald. Can you take us through the timeline of when you became aware that the job was open and then your interaction with Tom and Brian getting to this point? That, that'd be a great movie, actually. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah. I, honestly, at this point, all the days are running together, so I don't remember exactly how things went down. But um, just to be transparent, I was, I was making the interview circuit in the NBA on some head coaching fronts. and. Uh, all, all the while, we had a six or seven day road trip with the Suns, so I would break off from them and go have meetings with executives and owners and then fly back and meet the team and, and so forth. So I was already juggling a lot. And then right when I landed from one of those meetings, I had gotten a, I had gotten a word of, of you know Coach Pope leaving in Kentucky, which tremendous opportunity for him. And shortly after that, my phone rang. Um, and then just wildfire happened after that, to be honest with you. So I was juggling a lot, me and my wife. It, the tricky part, honestly, was her and I weren't together. I was on the road. We was in LA, SAC, Minnesota, and we were trying to make maybe arguably the most, the biggest decision of our lives. And so I was trying to tell everyone involved, man, I just gotta get home. I just gotta get home to my wife. I gotta look at her in the eyes and we gotta talk this thing through. And uh, it's been a wild ride, but uh, you know, we obviously landed in an amazing place. Coach, uh, Dave McCann from BYU TV and the Deseret News. Congratulations Thank and welcome. You. I want to follow up on that just a moment. Can you take us to that first conversation with your wife when you mm -hmm. told her that BYU called and how that played out? And then also when you go back to the Suns, have they seen you with a cleanly shaven face <laughs> where you have to reintroduce yourself? So I'll start there. So. Uh, I walked into practice. So we had practice this morning in Phoenix, so we're getting ready for the playoffs, as I keep saying. But uh, no, they hadn't actually. So I walked in there, and all the guys were kind of looking at me, you know. And uh, we had a good laugh about it. But uh, <laughs> funny enough, with that, my wife's been wanting me to shave for like 13 years. So the fact that uh, here it is, so she's happy about that. But um, 
In terms of uh, her first reaction, though, uh, a lot of emotion. And I actually, I'm actually going to take you past her first emotion. Um, I was, we were in midair, actually. I was flying from SAC to go to Minnesota, actually. And she sent me a really long text that let me know, you know, how she felt about everything that we had going on. That was really impactful for me. And uh, she's, as, she's as excited or more um, about this opportunity than I am, but she had a major, major influence on me coming here and what it would do for our family life. And uh, she's, she's amazing. Love you, babe. Thanks for everything. And uh, Cougar Nation, I honestly wouldn't be here if she, uh, she was in the mix. So. Jay Drew, Deseret News. Kevin, uh, when did you first decide that you wanted to be a coach, to be in the, this profession? And when did it first cross your mind the possibility existed that you could be the coach of BYU? So I was really lucky as a player. I always had really good coaches. Um, the whole reason I wanted to be a coach was uh, my high school coach, Roger Quam, who I should have shouted out at the beginning. So, Coach, I apologize for that. But um, he, yeah, he's had probably the most. He's been the most impactful person on my on my life uh, as a youngster when I was in high school, and um, I wanted to be like him. He had a great life. He had five kids, and he coached basketball and taught PE every day. And I was like, that seems pretty cool. And so uh, I, that's what I want. I wanted to be just like him. And then uh, I got in. I played in in college and jumped right into coaching. And you know, one thing led to another that took me to a different path. But in terms of ever thinking I could be the coach at BYU. Um, you know, got connected with, with Brian and Tom um, about four or five years ago uh, through a mutual connection when I was out in Philadelphia. And, uh, you know, kind of some seeds were planted. And in the back of my mind, I thought, you know, maybe maybe, maybe one day that's something that, that would happen. And never in a million years thought it would happen at the timeline that it did. But, you know, I'm a firm believer that everything truly does happen for a reason. and. Uh, it's, it's amazing how everything lined up for it to happen right now. All right, we have one more question for you, Coach. Okay. Hi, and welcome to BYU, Coach. My name is Olivia Allen, and I'm one of the co-ROC presidents for this upcoming year, and we are absolutely stoked that you are here. The ROC is considered by many to be the best student section in the nation. How excited are you to have them behind you this upcoming season? What? Well, first of all, thank you for the question, and I look forward to getting to know all the all the students here on campus as well. But yeah, I'm I'm, I'm thrilled about it. I, I I'm a, I'm thrilled about it for my my kids, honestly, so they can feel what it's going to be like in here, how loud it's going to get in here, the passion that everybody has. Um, you know, I've coached a couple I've coached a couple players that have played at Duke that I hear maybe might rival the fans here. So I want to be able to rub it in those guys' faces about how much better this place is than that place. So, All right, thanks, Coach. Let's give one more round of applause for uh, Coach Kevin Young. Thank you.